About a year ago, I did a video and it proved to be one of my most popular videos that I've ever posted. And that video was about how you can create folders in File Explorer from a list in Excel. Now, there were certain things I didn't include in that video and lots of questions that came up underneath, such as how can we create a folder that has spaces in the name and how can we create subfolders? So that is what this video is here to address. I'm going to run you through some alternative methods that I've discovered in the last year for quickly creating multiple folders in File Explorer from a list in Excel. So if that sounds like something that you want to learn about, and trust me, you do, because this is a great time saving tip, then keep watching. Now we're going to start off really, really basic. You can see here in the Excel spreadsheet, I have a list of employees and I've got about 20 or so employees in here. Now, maybe I'm the head of HR and I need to create a folder for each employee in the organization. Now, I only have 20 here, but you can imagine you could have hundreds or even thousands of employees and creating a folder for each person is going to take an extremely long time. So we can automate this using Excel, Notepad and a batch file. So let me show you how simple this is. Now, the first thing you need to do is jump across to File Explorer and create a folder where you want these folders to be. For example, I've created a folder called Employees. So when we click on Employees, this is where I want to see a folder for each of these different employees. So you need to create that first of all, then jump back to Excel. And what we need to do, and there are two ways that you could do this. We need to type in MD, which stands for Make Directory, and then the name. So for this first person, it's Eleanor, okay? Control Enter to stay in the same cell. Now I need to do the same for all of these different employees. So what I can do is use my fill handle, drag down, it's gonna say MD Eleanor in every single row, but we can click the little Auto fill options tag at the side and then choose flash fill. And that's gonna change those to the correct name. Now, another way of doing this would be to use a formula. So let's take a look at that method as well. I think this is slightly longer. So let's control shift down arrow, press delete. Now what we could do is we could use concatenation to output the same thing, MD Eleanor. So in quote marks, because it's text, we're going to type in MD. We're going to say ampersand, which means to join. And I want a space between MD and Eleanor. We need to specify that. So in quote marks, we want space, quote marks, ampersand again, because we want to join with cell B4. So when we hit enter, we should find we get the same thing, MD space Eleanor. This time, because we've used a formula, we can simply copy it down. We don't need to flash fill because it's using the cell references as we pull it down. So that's another way that you could do this. Now with this method, we do have that formula sitting underneath. So a lot of the time I just like to clear out the formula and just keep the text. We can do that by pressing control C to copy. If you're using Excel 365, you will have access to the keyboard shortcut control shift V, which allows us to paste the values only. If you don't have that keyboard shortcut, just click the lower half of the paste button and you have a paste value values option in here. Either is going to work. Now, regardless of which method you chose to get MD and then the name into the cell, this part is the same for everybody. So control shift down arrow to select all of the names, control C to copy. And now we want to open up Notepad. Now, once we have Notepad open, control V to paste all of those names in. And we need to make sure that we save this Notepad file in the folder where we want to create the folders. So I'm in my employees folder, and I'm just gonna give this a name. I'm gonna call this employees, but very important, it needs to have a file extension of dot .bat. Let's click on save. Now, if we jump back to File Explorer, there is the .bat file that we just created. And if we double click it, you'll see it's gonna go away and it's gonna run in the background. And like magic, it creates all of those folders for us. So really nice and straightforward. Now there is another way that you can achieve exactly the same result. And I'm gonna show you this method as well so that you can choose which one you prefer, which one you find a little bit quicker. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete out all of these folders. I'm not going to delete the .bat file though, so let's just press delete. We're going to go back to our Excel spreadsheet and I'm just going to delete out all of this because what you could do is go to a cell and I'm going to use the array to text formula. 
And what this will basically do if we select our array and close the brackets is it's going to give us that list, but it's going to display it horizontally with comma space separators in between. So once we have it this way, we could control C and then jump across to File Explorer. This method basically allows us to bypass the creation of the notepad file, that .bat file. Because what we could do is right click on our folder and open a terminal window. And then from here, we can type in MD, control V to paste those in, hit enter. And much like the previous method, it's going to run through and it's going to create all of those folders for us. So that is another method that you could possibly use where you don't have to mess around opening Notepad and creating a .bat file. So I'll leave it up to you which one of those methods you prefer. Now let's move on to a common question which came up underneath my last video. And that is, how can we create folders that contain spaces? Now I've changed the data, the employees, very slightly in this particular spreadsheet. Instead of just having the first name listed out, I now have their first name and their last name. So we have a space in the name. Now, if we were just to use the method that we used previously, so MD, and then if we use the entire name, what you're going to get is two folders, one for Eleanor and one for Parker, because it's recognizing that space in the middle there. So when you want to automatically create folders that contain spaces, there's a couple of different methods you can use. Now, the first one, which is probably the easiest, is you could add an underscore in between the first name and the last name. And a quick way to do that, if we select all of the names, control F, and let's go to replace, we could say find space and replace with underscore. And if we say replace all, you can see it's made 20 replacements. So now I could just type in MD Eleanor underscore Parker and it will create the folder for me. No problems. But what if you don't want to have an underscore in there and you need to have a space? Well, let's backtrack. What we need to do here is we just need to wrap that name in quote marks. So we're going to type MD open quotes, Eleanor Parker, close quotes. Control enter to stay in the same cell. If we drag the fill handle down, again, we need to use our little flash fill option at the bottom to fill those down correctly. So now that we have this, we can select them all, Control C, and jump back to Notepad. Now I'm still gonna use the employees.bat file. I'm just gonna remove what we have in there and just paste in that new information. Make sure you give it a save. So now if we jump back to File Explorer, we've got our employees.bat, double click, we should find it's going to create those folders and we're not going to get any issues because of that space in the middle there. So just remember that if you have two words in the name of a folder, you need to wrap it in quote marks. Now for this final example, I'm just going to show you how you can automatically create subfolders for these folders. And again, there are a couple of different ways that you could approach this. Now, notice that I've greatly reduced the amount of employees just to make this example a little bit more manageable. So now I only have three employees, but what I want to do is I want to create subfolders for 2020, 2021, 2022 and 2023 for each of these employees. So to achieve this, we need to do a little bit of jiggling around of our information. So I'm going to grab these and just drag them up here. These are the subfolders that I want to see underneath each of these main folders. So let's grab these and drag them down here. And I'm basically going to make a copy and drag these underneath. And we're going to make another copy and drag underneath again. And then we're going to drag Sophie down to here. And then we're going to fill the names down for all of the subfolders. So you kind of need a structure that looks like this. So for Eleanor Parker, she's going to have four subfolders, 2020 to 2023, the same thing for Lucas and the same thing for Sophia. Now, the first method you can use to combine these two together in the correct way is we can type in MD space and we can just do it manually. So we want Eleanor Parker backslash 2020. We could type it in like that. Control enter we can drag the fill handle down and use flash fill to fill those in correctly. So now if we control shift down arrow, control C, we can jump back to notepad and 
Let's delete out what we have in our bat file. Control V to paste in the new information. Let's make sure that we save it. And then when we go back to File Explorer and in run employees.bat, we should find that we have three folders for Eleanor, Lucas and Sophia. But now when we double click to open each one up, we have four subfolders. And that should be true for all of these employees. And of course, if you wanted to make a subfolder of a subfolder, you would repeat the process. So let's just do it for this first one. I'm going to add a subfolder of a subfolder called info. Now we can control shift down arrow, control C, jump back to notepad. We can delete out what we have in here, control V, make sure that we save it. And then in File Explorer, we just need to rerun that bat file again. It's going to create our folders. This time when we go into Eleanor Parker, we have the subfolders. And then if we go into here, we should find that we have info as a subfolder of a subfolder. So it's really up to you how you organize this, but hopefully that shows you a few techniques you can use to speed up the process of creating hundreds or even thousands of folders in File Explorer. If you enjoyed this video, let me know down in the comments, subscribe, all of that good stuff, and I'll see you guys next time.